follow the leader. Welcome back here with us on Overdrive. Now, just a couple of months ago at the Auto Expo, we saw a couple of new electric scooter manufacturers enter into the mix and offer new electric scooters. And one that really caught our eye was Vadodara-based Joy E bike with their scooter, the Mi Horse. It offers 102 km of riding range. It's not really production ready yet, but we rode it to find out just what this scooter is all about. This is the Mihos from Joy E-Bike, the Vadodara based manufacturer that's been around in the country for a little over three years now. This model in particular, the flagship model, was launched at the Auto Expo just a couple of months ago and we're out here to test ride its pre-production model. The Joy E-Bike Mihos exudes some neat retro styling cues. It's got very old-school Vespa Lambretta vibes, with its round headlamp, the curvy and simplistic panels all around, the chrome mirrors and that spacious bench seat. However, elements like the TFT display, the 12-inch wheels and LED lighting lend a touch of modernity to it all. The wheels come wrapped with 90x90 tyres, which offer a good amount of grip considering this vehicle's stature. Joy E-Bike is offering a decent list of features with the Mios electric scooter. These include a simple 4.3 inch color TFT screen that displays information like range, speed, state of charge, ride modes and more. It also gets Bluetooth connectivity along with turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Other features include a USB charger socket and an LED illuminated underseat storage space. Alright, so although the Mi Horse has a decent amount of features, well, one of the USPs of this particular scooter has to be the construction of its plastic panels. So, yep, the company have told us that this scooter in particular, well, its panels are built of PDCPD, which stands for polydicyclopentadine. Well, basically, it's a relatively strong uh, compound of plastic and it's built to take a good amount of pounding. Now moving on to what gets this Mi Horse moving. Powering the sea scooter is a 1.5 kilowatt hub mounted electric motor that produces around 250 Nm of peak top. The scooter gets a 2.96 kilowatt NMC battery pack that is claimed to offer an IDC range of 130 kilometers on a single charge of course and a 0 to 100% charging time of 5 hours. It gets three riding modes, Eco, Sport and Hyper, which alters throttle response and the speed limitation according to the mode selected. On Eco mode, energy is consumed sparingly and efficiently, just as it would on any other electric scooter. The top speed out here is limited to 35 kmph and the scooter is said to be capable of running a maximum of 102 km on a single charge out in the real world, say the company. But that claim is yet to be verified. Sports mode is marginally livelier and the scooter here can achieve a top speed of 45 km per hour. However, hyper mode, well, that's where I'd usually keep this one at because the top speed goes up to an indicator 63 km per hour. And to be honest, this is the only mode where the scooter doesn't feel downright boring or lethargic to ride. But as you'd expect, in this mode, the only trade-off is that range is almost halved. The Mios doesn't come with the conventional reverse function like other electric scooters out there and what it gets is a reversed assist feature. So when you waddle back when you're astride the scooter, well, the motor will gently assist you on your way. So it's a very easy, the Mios, a nice and easy scooter to manage, uh, nice and light, flickable. Uh, but yes, it's a pre-production model and then in terms of handling, as you can see, the it does scrape a bit. So it doesn't take a lot to get the side stand scraping, unfortunately, so definitely some work to be done there. In terms of ride, well, nice and plush ride. Not too good in terms of performance though, because I am in hyper mode right now. And as you can see, I'll just take a step back to around 10 kph, ah, give it the beans. And as you can see, it's not all that eager to accelerate. But in terms of handling, yes, it does feel quite nice. Performance of the Mihos Electric isn't something to really write home about. It takes some fair bit of time and effort for the scooter to build momentum up to that 63 km per hour mark in hyper mode. But what's better though is the way the scooter handles because it impresses fairly so in that department. 
The chassis is nice and stiff and the scooter feels nice and light at the bars which allows you to change direction easily. It tips into corners without much effort and you can stick to your line very comfortably and nicely. As far as ride quality goes, well, the go-kart track that we tested the scooter on was in good shape. So the jury's still out on that one. However, the brakes at both ends could offer a better bite and be less noisy in their way of function. The Mio scooters that were issued to us on this test ride were said to be hand-built pre-production models. And in terms of build quality, the scoots we rode had certain quality issues with inconsistent panel gaps, shabbily finished parts, and even some low-end switch gear. Now, the company have said that the final production versions of these scooters will have these issues sorted out before they are rolled out into the market come April 2023. But that we'll believe once we actually see it. Overall, the Mio scooter is a valiant step in the right direction for the company that is shifting focus from rural areas to metros with its first in-house designed e-scooter. If you had 1 lakh rupees to invest in an electric scooter of this sort, well, you might want to hold off to that check for a, a couple of more months, at least till the proper production model comes out, because then we'll have a better idea and a more complete, comprehensive understanding of what the scooter is out on the actual road out there in the city. That's it then from us on this week's edition of Overdrive. But remember, you can stay in touch with the team through Facebook, Twitter, as well as YouTube. And you can follow our latest updates on Instagram. We'll see you next week. Until then, goodbye. Many thanks for watching. From David to Goliath, from the smallest business venture,